The market is getting smacked right now. And the number one issue that comes from this for active traders is how do we find stocks that are still bullish to trade even in weak market conditions? Well, I'm going to give you a scan to help you do just that today. What we're going to do today is pretty simple. I am going to show you guys a line of code that returns stocks that have been up at least 2% over the last 15 minutes. It's a pretty simple code, it's a pretty simple scanner, but it's gonna give you what you need in order to find out what stocks are moving. Consider this scanner a free sample. If you want more complex scans and indicators and strategies, check out my website, daytradingstrategies.net, link in the description down below. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're on the scanner screen within Thinkorswim now, and I already have it set up with two defaults. These aren't necessarily needed for this scanner, but they're ones that I always set. I have a minimum price of a dollar. I don't want to see penny stocks, and I have a minimum volume of one. Because for whatever reason, whenever you scan without this on, you end up getting a lot of like just broken results, no volume stock kind of results. So those are just kind of there for from jump now what we're gonna do we're gonna come into add filter we're gonna go to study we're gonna click on the pencil here we're gonna go to think script editor let me make sure you guys can see the whole modal here and then we're gonna go ahead and delete what is currently in there so there is a study out of the box in thinkorswim called percent change and it does what you think it does it shows you the percent change over x number of bars back so what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in percent and it's change CHG and I'm going to open parentheses and I'm going to do a length set equal to 15. Now, obviously that is going to look over the last 15 bars, whatever the average percent change of the last 15 bars is, is what's going to be returned by this function that I have just called. So obviously as you're creating this scanner for yourself in your own thinkorswim, Make that length whatever you want it to be. If you want to see five minutes, although I would warn, don't make it too short. I was going to get into this a little bit later, but let's talk about it now. It won't really work that well, much shorter than 15, because a major limitation of Thinkorswim watch list is that they update every three minutes, right? This isn't going to be a live every time, every tick, something is new. It's going to come to the chart, right? So... Uh, you don't want to go too short with this, but say you want to make it uh, 50 minutes, 100 minutes. You want to look over longer time frames of what's up. Change that variable to what you will. We're going to set it to 15. And we're also going to be looking for stocks that are over 2% change. Once again, same story. Change this variable to whatever you would like it to be as well. We are going to look at 2% change over the last 15 bars. Now, very important switch. This D indicator here means it's searching on the daily, right? I want to look at the last 15 minutes. So I'm going to set that to one minute. I would like to look at extended hours trading as well with this. So I'm going to leave my extended hours uh, checkbox checked there. Once again, update all those variables to however you would like it to look. And I also have, so I actually already have some custom columns on my watch list. So your return isn't going to look exactly like this because I have some custom columns here. Um, but you will get the same stocks. Uh, it'll just maybe look a little bit different here. Um, and those custom columns come from my website, if you're interested. Uh, link in the description. Um, <laughs> I always, almost always, barring other circumstances that I may want to sort by one of these other columns, I tend to sort by volume top down. I want to be looking at the stocks that are trading the most volume. So I have volume top down. And we're getting some results here. Morph being the first one. If I go ahead and go to Morph and we look at the one minute, the stock is not very great today. But you can see over the last 15 minutes, it has been strong enough. We've got a stock that's moving up, right? We've got a stock that's going up even in a weak market. Like I said, may not be strong all day, but we're just looking at the last 15 minutes. We're just looking at what we can actively trade, actively take advantage on uh, to the bullish direction, right? Um, so that's the scanner. I'm going to show you a couple of more good tips now. Uh, make sure that you uh, kind of expand this left modal here and you can change any of these to watch lists. Uh, you would go here, you'd go to switch gadget and you'd make it a watch list. 
Uh, and then once you do that, uh, this little bar here is going to allow you to, oh, I have to save the scanner. First step first. I'm going to save this scanner as strong stocks. I'm calling it strong stocks. So I save it there. Um, and then I can go ahead and open this back up. And if I go under my personal S, I have a ton of scanners that I have made. Once again, available on the website. I'm going to stop saying it now, I promise. Um, but I have a ton of scanners. So they're sort of uh, sorted out by alphabetical order like this. Yours might look a little bit different, especially if you just don't have this many custom scanners made. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and load strong stocks. And it's going to give me my results right here. I'm also, if I move this out a little bit more, I also have this linked to number nine lilac and I have my chart link here to number nine lilac as well. So as I click on these stocks, you will see them immediately appear on my chart. So as I mentioned, every three minutes, this is going to refresh. Every three minutes, it's going to refresh with what stocks are up at least 2% in the last 15 minutes. And right now, it's it's I'm making this video at 1250 on a Friday, like we mentioned during a dead market. So a lot of the results right now are kind of crappy. If I click through this, you're like, trade, these all kind of suck. I agree, they do kind of suck. I did run this code this morning though, and I have some better clips from this morning when stocks had more volume, more volatility. So I'm gonna play that now so that you can see what the results from the scanner can really look like. Giving Ford, Ford of the last 15 minutes should be up 2%. Plus, yes, it is. Clearly, yes. Ford, CCG, we know. Carvana is apparently doing all right. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's working, Stone Cold. That clip was from my free live stream that I do every morning over on twitch.tv as well. Link in the description. You should come check us out. But anyway, that's going to be the scan for the day. That's the scan that's going to automatically show you what stocks are strong so that you have the opportunity to look for trades to take no matter what the current market condition is hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to hit the like button if you're new around here interested in this kind of content why not sub it's free with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and sign out of today's video i will catch you all in the next one